I don't know if I'm a young Jewish professional, but two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> I'm a little less of the Y part of the JP. There's some oldies also involved with drugs. <laughs> it's oldies but goodies, but... Okay, here we go. Let's go! The power of community is just truly incredible. The people that come to these events are top notch. I don't think there's anybody better than YJP. Having a mentor is absolutely huge. I've had so many mentors in my life, so I'm blessed and I know the importance of giving back. So if you're on that fence, get off that fence and get in the show because it's all about winning. In today's world, if you don't have connections, you don't have some people that you really work with and understand the value, it's just harder to do business than it's ever been before. Before YJP, I had no real community. The first time I went into YJP, I really didn't know what to expect. I saw the speaker there was an executive in the advertising industry, and I thought I could learn a little bit uh, from them. But what I realized was a large benefit was actually the people in the room. I actually met someone by the name of Isaac Rashad who um, we ended up connecting and he saw an opportunity to connect me with someone that he knew which was who was Sean Parrott and Sean Parrott had just recently been you know exiting a business and was looking for a new opportunity and I was kind of in the same situation and uh, within a week we became partners in our new venture Scorely and it's been unbelievable we've done in the last three months what I would think normally can't be done in a year. And, you know, to add to that, we've also got advisors from YJP, such as Joe Applebaum, and also investors, such as Larry Fish. So our entire company revolves around YJP. <laughs> I attended a roundtable led by Danny Benedict of BRG Realty, who I had read about a number of times in the press. I was very excited to meet him in person, uh, generous of him to volunteer his time. And as part of this um, networking event, I met Fred Corbin, which is a uh, one of the main uh, forces, I understand, behind the organization, very involved on many levels. And we started talking, and um, we actually uh, not only developed a friendship, but we made a great business deal. I think we signed a contract a couple of weeks after that. We closed on it, which was great for him and great for me. I guess when you get involved in doing good things, good things happen to you. It's not a question of giving back because you might get back. I think you give back because it's something you should do. The mentoring that YJP does is specific for their industry, and if a connection takes place between a older person and a younger person, that's a beautiful thing, and the, but they both benefit from that. It really helps to have someone who I could just ask a, a question that for him was very normal, but for me, I had you know I wouldn't be able to talk to anyone else about that kind of stuff. You have this uncanny ability to um, attract the best and brightest leaders in their field that are, are become mentors to a lot of these young professionals. And I think the caliber of the people that you're able to bring to the table to these panels to come and to meet younger people is amazing and it's unparalleled in the industry. Here you're given an opportunity to sit with some of the biggest players in the industry uh, and create those relationships without much of an effort. All you have to do is show up. I've actually been surprised there's been some events that I've been to where I can't believe the secrets that they're giving away. Uh, this is stuff that you know takes years and years and years to learn and here you are in a one hour or two hour session uh, and they're giving you the secrets to success. All you gotta do is you know take the bull by the horns and run with it. Uh, I don't know where else you can get that kind of opportunity anywhere in the world. It's not what you know in life, it's who you know. And YJP gives people the opportunity to get the who you know part of it right. Networking is a critical skill in this day and age, and the, the personal relationships that you can have with people are really what make things successful. People can meet and network um, in a meaningful way, and really also get to the point. Most of the other networking events that I've been to in the past, it's all very, it's all very much small talk, whereas I've found that at the YJP events, 
everyone's always gaining something from it. The, the, the quality of the people at the, at the events is considerably higher. Being a YJP member when you first move to New York is essential. You're immediately plugged into a network of successful, high-caliber people in whatever field you want to choose uh, that is going to embrace you. It could take you years to develop relationships that you can kind of create in one night. The experience of connecting the young Jewish professionals together, I don't think there's anybody better than YJP at, quite frankly. I always kind of say that YJP and Shai are like a little bit of the Jewish CIA uh, in a lot of ways uh, because they seem to know everybody in the world that I don't, uh, but really help my, my, my son tremendously in his, in his future and connection. The most important thing is the people. And everyone talks about networking and building those connections, um, but I think there's something deeper. I can tell you all about their drive. I can tell you all about their passion for what they're doing. I can see that they're humble, many of them, but they all share a very unique Jewish thing, which is muscle. There's a, a deeper connection that you have this obligation to each other to support one another and that's what a Jewish community is all about. It's about supporting the person next to you. It's not just about what can I take from it, but how much can I give back to it. I think that's what makes the business relationships so strong is because people can connect on a personal level. My first, one of my first experiences volunteering and, and doing an event for YJP uh, was at the Classic Car Club. My priority was not necessarily socializing, should I say. So I was gonna head out as soon as it was set up and make sure everything was, was going well. And all I could think about was my mother telling me, there's gonna be a lot of young Jewish girls here. You should stay, you, you should meet someone. Uh, I ended up seeing a friend from college and she was standing with a group of, of young ladies and, and I just looked at one of them and I said, Wow, something about her stands out. And uh, I remember speaking to her that night and looking, through, looking for her throughout the, the, the rest of the night. I stayed there looking for her to catch up and make some conversation. And I only saw her on the way out. Um, we ended up connecting after that and she's, uh, she's now my wife. YJP has really changed my life for the better. I think it's opened up a melting pot for Jewish professionals to meet each other, to network, to build stronger relationships, to be inspired by leaders, and um, it's, it's really invaluable as a, uh, as a community organization.